Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, continuation. It was a rough night last night. Played a, a couple of really critical errors. Uh, I think I've corrected most of them. Um, some tactical errors as well, so just uh, <laughs> looking to get back on the right path tonight. We are at the start of the 17th of December, turn two basically. Uh, a lot of activations left to go. I've only done a couple last night. And um, we are, I believe, up to an American activation. And I think it's time for the Seventh Armoured to try for their second. So I, this is one of the errors I made. When they come on, they are, if you notice the uh, reinforcement schedule here, Seventh Armoured. They are used, which means they must attempt a second activation on a four or more. And this is their, their the US activation attempt. It's a failure. So they are done. They will not be uh, into done mode. They will not be moving out. That's actually, I'm kind of relieved at that because um, <laughs> just the fact that they can't move because it uh, kind of makes their late placement but basically what I did last night was I placed these reinforcements late by accident and so it makes that all legal um, these guys are all done we now shift back over to the German side and and I am looking up here in the far north I am tempted, there's a couple of options here that I'm tempted by the 326 pushing these Americans off the road to enable 150 Panzer to come through. Perhaps more pressing is 12th Volks Grenadier around here and 277th up here. Doesn't really matter what order they go in. I want to get, it'd be nice to be honest to get 12th Volks Grenadier off these roads. Um, but to do that, I think I need to activate a bit of a chaining effect. I need to get 3rd Volksenjäger off these roads to get 12th off the road. So I might go with 3rd. And then below them, I've also got the 12th. Uh, so they're mixed. They're a mixed formation. And below them, we've got the 18th Volksgrenadier. So I might start with the 3rd Volksenjäger because they're in an awkward position. So let's try and activate these guys. These guys are mixed. Coordination fatigue two. It's going to be a plus. Sorry, a minus four modifier. And game specific is only a plus one modifier. And once again, cleaning up all my charts to find the snafu modifiers on the sheets. Okay. So, uh, and they're ghosted at optimal distance, but on tracks, that's actually a negative, negative, net of negative four. That's going to be a fail snafu. Um, there's a slim chance they get a second activation, but I think what they're going to do is, <sighs> well, I'm tempted to do a failure flip recovery, reduce their fatigue a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll do a failure flip. So they'll enter done mode. That flips. They remove the coordination because of that and they reduce fatigue. That's uh, unfortunate for the Germans. All right, back over to the American side. And. I'm still looking in the center here. 560th Fox Grenadier hasn't activated yet. Second Panzer hasn't activated yet. I've still got CCR9 in a decent position here. I believe, I'm sorry, I was scrolling way to the top here. I've also got the 110th who can come on as reinforcements along this trail. Um. They're not urgent just yet, but probably best to get them on earlier rather than later. So I will double check the 9th Infantry. Yeah, they're not used, so they're good to come on. Uh, each at 4, that should already be incorporated into... Yep. 
So I think we're going to get started with these guys. Um, they've only got one fatigue. Game specific snafu for the Americans is still minus two. So it's going to be negative three for that. But they have optimal distance, so it makes it negative two. Snafu roll is that which gives them a partial. Let's create. Oh, we don't, don't really need an objective. They're just going to be going basically, if, if we flip this over, half of that is four. So we're looking at. Oh, this is a truck too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Eight. And then they have red support. And then the infantry will follow up. One, two, three, four. And uh, look for now, there's probably some good things I can do with this train, like move it west, but for now I'll just leave it there. And they have a chance at a second activation on a roll of four or less. In hindsight, I will bring them over here because I don't want them mixing. I'll send them on this track. Okay, so second activation, four or more. That's successful, they get a second activation. Um, snafu roll is 10, nine. Uh, 10, nine. Eight, seven game specific, I'm pretty sure. I always forget that. I was just looking at it a moment ago. Is it here? Yeah, no, it's not there. Uh, so for, yeah, minus two. So 10, game specific, eight, seven, four fatigue. Um, Eight optimal distance, but seven using tracks. I think that might be a double objective. I mean, it's gonna be close. A ten. Mm, they're not mixed. Nine. Eight. Seven. Eight. Seven. Yeah, it's a double objective. So they. Again, they're not. <laughs> it's, it's more about the. Uh, the extra movement rather than the actual placement of two objectives. I uh, they can move into Elsenborn. I think I want to get them in a more flexible position down here near Buchtenbach. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there, and bring the infantry down. One, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven and a half. They'll hold that good little crossroad there, and we'll bring down the rest of the uh, the infantry, holding that crossroad. Actually, they hold this crossroad. And now I think I'll move my trains to a slightly better position. Let's have a look here. We can move them one, two. If I put them here. One, two, three, four, five. It's a beautiful little position here. They're driving, drawing supply along the secondary road, uh, which can then draw off to a supply source in the west. So that's a good, an important second activation for these guys. It gives them clear area operations and a clear supply route. I'm just going to double check, highlight formation, that there are no other units that I've missed along the way. 
Yep. And that's the second activation, so they do roll for fatigue one to two. They're fine. And uh, yeah, keeping in mind, this, these guys have uh, support as well, so that's uh, AV blocking there. Unprepared though, which is unfortunate, but uh, <laughs> they, they, every little bit helps stop the German steamrollers. So now they are done, and we can look over at the German side, and they are getting increasingly worried about all these roadblocks that the Americans are throwing up that they are uh, thus far have been unable to punch through. Third Volksmeager are done, which is really disappointing because they're on a, in a really critical area here. Fortunately, they're off this secondary road here. I really need, it's pretty important that I activate 12th Volksmeager, a 12th Volksmeager, and get them off that road because there's a bit of a traffic jam behind them. Uh, I think it's, it's probably more important to get them off the road than it is to attack, but let's see what they get for their snafu. Uh, there's going to be some negative modifiers here. They are. So they're not suffering coordination, but they are mixed. Um, but hold on, they are suffering coordination. Here it is. So it's a plus two. Luckily, they're zero fatigue. Minus one, but they're using. Well, actually, they're not using tracks. They're using this primary road. But it'll be cross. There's a lot of modifiers here. Let's roll the dice, and I'll, I'll go through it. Oh, that's going to be a fail. I can almost guarantee it. Um. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to be three. Snafu rolls. Minus one is two. Gang specific is put back up to three. Optimal distance, four. But crossing streams, three. I thought it'd be worse than that. Let me double check this again. Roll of three. Two. One. Back up to two. Optimal distance, three. Crossing streams, two. Yeah, it is narrowly a failure. They are not going to do a, uh, a recovery. Uh, instead, they will take the failure. Um, there's not much I can do with... A, uh, just looking at my charts with a, a failure snafu result. I could move my, um, I could move these guy, this train, this supply, a uh, combat train up a bit closer. One, two, three. No, I can't actually. I could, but one, two, three, four. It'd be mixed streams regardless. They're not moving, so they're there. So they, they would ghost it as well. I didn't realize. Um, they're going to try for a second activation, basically. So no fatigue on that first. Second activation, they need four or more. They do get a second activation. Now they need a really high roll for a decent snafu just to clear these roads. Let's go. Seven. Um, that'll be a, s well, a six, I think. So that's going to be a partial. But it is an activation, and that's important. It's important because, like I said, they just... Uh, Um, someone mentioned these new um, that can use these alternative uh, objective circle objective markers and they kind of enable you to see a little bit clearly so what is the 12th false currency going to do let's highlight this formation partial keep in mind they are all over the place and I have a reconnaissance unit here and they maybe could help me set up a new um, objective so I want to clear this hex out. I want to get off the road whilst also clearing this hex out. Maybe instead of that, I shift up here and focus on clearing that hex out instead. So, so. I'm just, I'm thinking ahead about uh, where Comfort Piper are going to come through. They're going to come, want to come along this primary road here and drive through here. Maybe I just 
I, what I'm thinking is where is there space here for 12th Volkswagen D to actually operate? Um, maybe down here against 14th Cav. There's too much, too much mixing of formations in this area, and I need to clean this up. It's messy both in terms of mixing and just in, in terms of counters. If I can just separate 12th Fox Grenade and 3rd Volkswagen, it'd help just a little bit. And I'm kind of thinking setting either if I shift the 12th Fox Grenade out to the left here, maybe put my headquarters on this road very close to the front. One, two, three, four, five. I could put the Comet train up here. That'd give them a clear supply path, not mixing. Um, might be mixing streams, actually. <laughs> but it gives them a clear area of operations down here. So I... I, I, I <laughs> Can I even get these formations all the way down? It's a long way for them to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they can get it. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to set this as my objective. And going to move 12th Volkswagen down to this region. But so they're not mixing with the third Volkswagen, I guess. So they're going to kind of, yeah, give the third Volkswagen their own little area of operations and one two three four five six I'll bring these guys down one two three four five six seven and a half All right, I'm just getting them out of that forest area to clear the path clear the way for other other formations to move through um, one, two, three, four, can't do much. If I move them down here, I don't think that's mixing formations. They clearly still have a blob there, the third Fulcrum Jäger. Um, one. Before I do that, I might get my intended attack up here. Oh, it's partial as well, sorry. Um, so they can't go very far at all. Um, one, one, two, three, four. They're gonna stop there. Uh, <laughs> oh, this changes everything, of course. Partial, partial activations also mean partial movement. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to clear this, uh, clear this mixing of formations. Unless the other alternative is I stick to the original plan and try and drive through there. If I can drive through there, I can push <coughs> 12th Volkswagen north of of 3rd Volkswagen Jäger. Um, <laughs> it means keeping them on that road. So, it's risky. They will have prepared defense, so I'm going to need a really powerful role in combat against that. But I could get two bites of the cherry. And maybe bring my reconnaissance unit up to set an additional objective here. Um, oh, it's not ideal, but with a partial, partial activation, I think that will have to do. Basically, they don't have enough movement points to to move a great deal. Two two MPs, basically. I could get off this road and not attack, or I could stick on the road and hope for the best. I'll work out. I don't normally do this, but let me work out combat. It'd be four plus uh, two suppression plus one assistance. That's it. Versus three plus prepared defense plus defense. Uh, five versus seven, I get a plus two modifier. 
and I would need a nine or more to force the retreat. It's a slim chance. Otherwise, I'm just causing a step loss to what is a pretty strong six-step unit. Um, yeah, I'm kind of tempted just to clear off the road. This is taking me a while. This is a really tough decision. Um, yeah, I think I want to clear this road off. I think what Kant Group Piper can do is better than what the 12th Volts Grenadier are going to be able to do. I will attack here, but these guys will just clear off the road and they'll go one, two. And these units will come down. They go one, two, one, two to there. I will launch an attack in here it's pretty much the same odds same same uh, modifiers so I need a, a nine or more to force a retreat anything less than that might might cause step losses so yeah plus two die roll modifier hey there we go, 10, 11, 12 is a D1 retreat result. So they retreat uh, back to their headquarters on their move side. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. What does that actually do? Well, it opens a path through here along the, um, uh, the railroad line. A rabbit line is not ideal, two and two, but it lets the tanks roll forward somewhere at least. Get some past this roadblock here. Nice, happy with that. I'll leave that there for now uh, because I still have my reconnaissance unit here, and well, look, they could move up into this space here. I'm sure they can get there. One, two, yeah, they can get there easily. In f well, half movement as well. And uh, there's, there's support to be dropped. Actually, I forgot the support for that. So that should have been in just one extra modifier. So it's only a plus one to, to make it 11 rather than plus two. So it was pretty close. Very, very close. Um, yeah, so I could bring these guys up and maybe do a shock combat. It's not a great shock combat though. And But again, if I, I mean, it's already a good, a, be a better situation for Camp Group Piper. If I can clear this out, it'd be even better for them. So let's try that. One, two, three. Again, they're not occupying this road here. They're going three to there. Actually. Yeah, it's half movement, so they don't get one and a half. Three to there. They will do... Um, Maybe I do two sh attack, two shot combats in a row, and hope for the best. Although, no, I need to disengage their support. I think I'll try to disengage their support first. Um, it's going to be even odds. So to disengage their support, I'll need six or more. Are oh, they in a prepared defence? So I'll need seven or more. They have multiple supports. I'll need eight or more drop the support I think it's worth it let's try it hey we dropped the support that's good in fact more than that oh it's almost a target loss and drop but it's not quite because of those modifiers so they have a prepared defense and they have multiple supports here which gives them a plus two modifier 
or a negative two for me, which is the result of nine, which is just target drop. With that done, this unit is without their support, and I can now do a shock combat. Um, Ooh. Although I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I'll do a shot combat. Actually, you know what? I think a regular combat would give me slightly better modifiers. Um, I'd only get a plus one for shot combat. I need a plus two if I do regular combat. I can do regular combat because this is a assault capable unit. So I do regular combat. It's going to be four plus the dual plus um, two for suppression. Now there's no assistance versus three for the defenders. They don't have support, it's been dropped. They have a prepared defense and they're in terrain. So it's gonna be my seven versus their five for a plus two net modifier to my die roll. And again, this means I need a nine or more. Oh, that's close, that's a 10, which gives me an A1 situational. Decrease steps, decrease steps. Um, and they're done. All right, so fatigue roll for the formation, one to three, no fatigue. They are done. And, and okay, so this is where uh, their support was dropped until temporarily. Um, and this is sort of the kind of, probably the one area of the rules where I'm still a bit uncertain. I think I did this wrong last night down south so so um, remove that basically uh, replace it with a drop support if they no longer have a support establishment safe path and I don't think they do because this block zone of control tack movement can't he get in here basically this tack their, their support units can no longer return to the area the support has disengaged and they don't have a support establishment safe path. I'm not 100% sure about that. It's just my judgment based on the fact. Here's the support, basically. They travel out to the infantry battalions to provide support. The reconnaissance unit drives them away. After the end of this German activation, they try to re-engage, but they cannot make it because of, well, I think the, the marsh prohibits attack movement. So they can't go through here. There's Germans here. And they can't go through here because of the zone of control, which uh, I believe would block that safe path. Um, because it's an AV value unit, AV ZOC. So they don't re-engage. The, the support remains dropped for now, which is good. Which also worries the Americans because they're now finding some of their infantry battalions surrounded and isolated. And um, they attempted to activate the 99th Division. Oh, they don't have double support. I've been looking at the wrong formation. This is the 99th up here. That's the 9th with dual support. So it, it, uh, that engagement did just have the plus one modify. It didn't matter anyway two more um, so here's a 99th and that's a big formation and I know the Germans are coming and I am tempted to activate to pull back just a little bit Uh, through here, for example, if the 277th activate, they can drive straight to my headquarters, maybe? I don't think they can make it 
getting through that marsh would cost all their movement. One, two, three. Oh, they could make it actually. I've got to activate the hundred, the 99th. So here we go. These guys, 237th here, then go one, two, three, and then straight into my headquarters or further. So let's activate the 99th. And they get a snafu roll. That's beautiful. That's a double objective. Um, I don't think they'll be doing much attacking. It's going to be pulling back. And there is a stream running down there. It's not too bad. One, two, three. Um, let's go one, two, and a half to defend our headquarters. Um, now these guys are pretty much locked in zones of control, so these two battalions here cannot move. Um, but I, what I'm thinking here is. their assistance one oh they're, they're a partial of course because they're in a pair defense so one one I'd need to get this unit um, yeah on its move side to make it to there uh, let's get these guys one two they're gonna block that little that's an, that's an important uh, little wooded hex there um, and we'll double stack that hex. Oh, that's ninth. So I've got ninth with the 99th. I don't know how that happened. I do not know how. Maybe I accidentally moved. Yeah, I, 23, 24. C, 23, 24, 99th nor. Now this is like there. I don't know how that happened, but um, I'll sit there. Uh, these guys really can't move anywhere. I will um, flip these guys over. One, two. And half, I guess. Pull these guys back one, two to cross the river, and they're done there. Um, and I think I just want to pull these guys back just, just one hex um, because I don't want them one, two, just so they're closer, slightly closer to the headquarters, reduce their chances of being cut off. I want to slowly withdraw the 99th. Um, and that's about it. So it's a very limited move. No fatigue roll. Do they need a second activation? I think I would like to get one just to flip some of these units over. So let's try for that on a five or more. It's a failure. Okay. And they're done. And... And... <laughs> The Germans kind of smell blood in this area, so let's uh, get the 277th active. I don't like the chances of a second activation with that 6. Um, they are fresh. Let's see what their snafu is. That's 9. It's going to be a double. And... They are active in this area. I will deactivate those guys. So... 
So they could have a hit here. I could split up these objectives, set one there, one there, and hope for the best. I think that's a good plan. Um, so we'll move our infantry up. Do we have any better infantry? They're all such low, but they do have red support, which helps in attack. Um, all right, so we get an attack going here. It's going to be just two plus artillery plus assistance plus support uh, equals six versus the defenders who have three plus support plus a prepared defense plus stacking plus um, terrain is four, five, six, seven. So that's a negative one uh, dice roll modifier to their combat roll here. Ouch. And a prepared defense. So it's unlikely to do anything, to be frank. But let's try anyway. A seven is a six, which is just an A1 result. Okay. And we'll bring up the rest of the infantry. Four. keeping that road just clear for the 12th SS and these guys will have an attack down here uh, similar odds 2 versus 3 but with one less modifier because they're not double stacked so it's going to be a net 0 modifier and a roll of 9 is going to be, keep in mind they are in a prepared defense, so it's an A1 situational. Only two steps left on that unit. Um, fatigue roll. They are not fatigued. Now they are fresh still, so they get a second activation on a five or six. Hey, they actually get a second activation. That's a surprise after saying earlier, I don't like the chances. Let's try their snafu. That's a seven, fresh eight, game specific nine. Um, I should keep in mind the combat train, I don't know where this is. Where is the 277th Fox Grenadiers? That is a very good question. should be highlighted in yellow because they're active not under here yeah, there it is <laughs> okay so that it is mixed uh, across streams but that's only a negative one modifier so that's still a double objective and they have three artillery points and you know what I want to destroy this unit um, if I can set this it doesn't really uh, I'll set this as a double objective basically um, I'll get an attack on it Oh, I don't really want to attack it, that's the thing. I just want to barrage it. And I kind of want the attack to fail because these guys will then occupy the road. Um, or is advance after combat mandatory or voluntary? 5.6. Advance after combat, the attacker must advance. So I don't, I don't want that to happen. Um, I might just, uh... oh, you know what I can do? I can move around here and drive into this uh, this headquarters space. Because now I've got my infantry, these guys moved around. They can go one, two, and I could set this as my primary objective. And these guys are unprepared. And I think that means they don't benefit from a prepared defense. Because they are unprepared 1.1 d unprepared you can see don't count these very often uh, they have no zone of control can't attack or assist can't use prepared defense can't use support that was a silly mistake america here's my objective here's my advance and here is my combat um my only problem is i don't think my reds oh no can my, I don't think my red support can get there. So I don't benefit from it for similar reasons. The last time they can't go through the woods. They'd stop there. 
the zone of control will stop them here from this limited support. Yeah, so we've got a pretty important attack here on Krinkelt. Um, we are looking here at two plus the double objective plus regular suppression plus assistance. That's not a lot versus an unprepared unit with no support. Uh, they have two plus two for their combat units. Plus one for terrain. That's not too bad. Okay, so I get a plus two modifier to my combat die roll. Oh, that's beautiful. That's 13. That's a D2 retreat result. So they go down two steps. They are uh, they can't retreat. So they they go to both of these units have no retreat path. So they have to go to not the graveyard but to um, next turn's reinforcements, basically. Not technically, but they would they uh, they they to with a with an automatic retreat. You must retreat at least three hexes. Um, to your HQ, but they, they are stacked with their HQ because they, um, you may recall, they rushed back to defend the HQ. Had they not done that, that headquarters, well, I don't know. Had they not done that, yeah, the headquarters would have just been steamrolled. Um, so the headquarters refuge is unavailable. Remove the retreating units from play. They return in the next reinforcement phase next to their, their HQ, yeah. Now, their HQ, incidentally, um, retreats is, is jumped. Retreats three hexes. One, two, th three. They lose their prepared defense. Ooh. And they suffer coordination. For being jumped. Um, and the, the attackers and their assistant may advance into the hex. So that was a pretty important combat by these two AR, two 72nd Volts Grenadier. Now that was the objective hex. Ah, oh, there's their limited support as well. We'll keep them all together. Um, and with that prepared defense now gone, the 277th can... Oh, jeez, what else can it can do? One, two, three. We could move into here. Maybe we could just, uh, one, two, can come around the back here and jump then. I don't need to worry about that. I might, uh, oh, sorry, got to keep focus. This is a double objective zone. <laughs> this is the only other hex I can attack. I will do so with these two units. Uh, so it's going to be now two plus two plus for artillery plus one plus one for the double objective zone equals six versus three plus um, I don't think their support oh sorry their support is there um, plus one for support um, they've lost their prepared defense there are two units and they're in a terrain hex so six versus six equals a net zero modifier but no prepared did I say prepared defense six sorry Three plus support plus two combat units plus terrain, yeah. So no prepared defense on a roll of eight is going to be an A1 situational retreat. That means they retreat. If they are in a prepared defense, they hold their ground and lose a step. They don't, so they have to retreat three hexes. One, two, three. I think they can retreat through swamps. Um, yeah, 
yeah, they're, they're unaffected by terrain. <clears throat> the retreat has no path. They just arrive at their ending hex. <clears throat> okay, so they retreat to there. And they advance. And... And... They're still in, oh sorry, and, and flip to their move site. And they're, they're still in this objective zone. So what I'm thinking here is, hey, second bite of the cherry. One, two, I'll attack again. And this time they're unprepared. So let's go, um, now they've got two plus a, uh, well my red support, can my red support make it? That still can't. Oh, they're attached. Sorry, of course. The <laughs> they have this red support. So yes, they do have red support. So plus one. I'm playing this support. This port will slightly wrong. I'm trying to count and track support movement for every combat. Hey, Jeff. It's it's kind of late evening here. Um, just on nine o'clock. Um, so they have that red support until it disengages. They are in a double objective zone. They will use artillery. That's their last artillery point. And they have assistance. And that's it. Gives them a modifier of seven versus the defenders who now only have a two AR. Um, they don't benefit from support because they're unprepared, no prepared defense. They have two combat units and they're in the open, so that's just a three. So I've got a plus four modifier for this attack, which is quite remarkable. Now watch my roll, snake guys. Yeah, not far from it. That's an eight, which is an A1 result. But this is a situational retreat, so they're back to another three. Um, one, two, three. They'll get into there, and we'll drive these guys further back. Oh wait, traffic markers. Traffic marker goes there and a traffic marker goes there. I tend not to place these because um, easy things to remember and they disappear at the end of the, the activation. So good good activation by the 277th. It's amazing how these little formations, little infantry divisions just pull out these big huge punches out of nowhere. Um, all right, so I do have my HQ here, and I'm kind of tempted to move them. Oh, look, I won't get too ambitious or greedy. I'll just move up to here. And I'll move my combat train. Actually, they're still in a decent... I'm just trying to prevent the crossing of streams. Actually, I'll move them up to here, which enables the 12th SS to avoid the crossing of streams. So we've got a clear blob for 277th, avoiding the crossing of streams for the 12th SS, so they'll be able to activate without that penalty. And on the next formation, they do have tracks, but they're at optimal distance. So, yeah. Um, risk of fatigue here is one to three. Yeah, they are no longer fresh, unfortunately, but they did a very good job there. And they are done. Okay, um, now, now what do I do? So the Americans are thinking what's going to happen next up here. This road through here is now open and this objective has been captured. I don't know how to change that except to um, place a German no VP hex mark. I don't know what that means. I'll figure that out later. Okay, so 99th are done. They've moved. They're spent. 
Um, we've got second infantry in the area. We could bring them up closer. We'll get rid of that as well. We've got Calf Group Piper in the area. And we know they can move around here. Um, so it might be prudent to get the second infantry division activated and look to be honest there's not a lot of decent defensive terrain in this area Bullingen's a good good place to defend Honsfield isn't um Honingen isn't and keep in mind this is just infantry they have some pretty good support they've got a lot of good support um but but where would they defend there's also, of course, second infantry division. I don't. I mean, if I leave them here too long, they could get trapped. Maybe I should pull them back off the ridge sooner rather than later. Um, but that's just kind of then inviting. That's what exactly what 150th Panzer want. They want this clear primary road through here. So I'll hold second there for now. Oh, that's that's all second. Okay. There you go, it's a big formation. So I don't want to activate them. I'll, I'll wait and see with that formation. What else do I have? First infantry is done. Um, I guess we'll look further to the south then. 14th Cav is available. These guys are largely trapped by zones of control. They could try to fight their way out. This is 106th infantry. Here they are. Look at this spread out formation. They are really spread out. Um, so maybe saving them is the way to go. I think I'm going to do that. So let's uh, activate these guys. Snafu roll is five. It's uh, going to be a partial. They're on a prepared defense, so at most a partial anyway. And I'm kind of thinking, do I, do I try to fight my way out through perhaps this hex here? Cause some damage on the way at least. If I activate this, if I put in my objective here, I can also attack here. Um, no, I can't because I can't get there. Can't move zone of control to zone of control. Um, and half movement means that this infantry can't go through the rolling terrain. So rolling, uh, sorry, the the it's forest terrain for two movement points. Um, I think if they're going to go down, they'll take some uh, 18th Volksgrenadier Battalion down with them. So, we might... Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'll create an objective there. And if, if this attack succeeds, I'm pretty sure I can at least save this infantry. I might even be able to block this road and develop a long-term plan for saving some more. So let's hope for the best here. Um, basically, we'll go one to there. That leaves this infantry available, maybe for a movement. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to have... I forgot the rule about assistance needing to be directly adjacent. So I kind of have to move there and these two assist each other. So now I've got an attack of two. Um, oh, you know what? They're out of command range. I don't think I can use my artillery if I'm attacking out of command range. It makes sense, right? That you can't draw upon artillery. Barrage if command radius 5.1.4 E. Yep, they can't spot for barrages. 
Uh, okay, so there's no artillery. It's going to be a two with assistance versus three um, in terrain. So that's a net because a net negative one dice roll modifier. But keep in mind these these are attacking Germans. They're not in a, uh, a prepared defence. Let's see how we go. Negative one to a seven is a six, which is an A1 result. That's unfortunate. That was close. That was very close. Um, oh, they have... Uh, they have... That's no, limited support. Yep, that's it. Um, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of <laughs> try to get as far as possible. That's as far as I can get, basically. Um, that's my one attack. I could... Um, what else can I do? I can not much else really. I could move these guys, but yeah, we'll keep them there. These guys could retreat, and I think they will because they're in a bit of a difficult position here. They've got Germans behind them, Germans north of them, <laughs> Germans southeast of them. So partial activation. They'll go half, one and a half, two and a half because of the river, two and a half. Um, what is rolling terrain? It's just one, two and a half. Uh, where are they going to get? <laughs> two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven. Hey, they've kind of made it to safety. Um, these guys are doomed. These guys are in a town on a important secondary road. I think I want to hold there. It's, it might be a bit sacrificial, but um, obviously I'll flip them over. They're in command range. That's okay. So if I hold them there, it just slows down this 60 second pulse grenadier advance. I'll have to attack here. It's also two hexes away from here. Start at Brook, uh, which means they have to set a second objective marker for there. So I think that's a pretty good place to, to hold. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Risk of being cut off and, and surrounded, but um, if I lose one battalion, I think it's a, it's a good sacrifice. Um, I've got engineers here holding an important road Again, Noble Sacrifice, Schomburg. Um, and I'll bring these guys, I think, into the town to stack with the engineers to defend the HQ. Oh, that's some of the guys up here as well. Um, oh, that's not a great defensive position. Where would be better? I think this is rolling hex here. So if I can go all oh, this town here, one, two to here to defend the 14th Cavalry Group's uh, combat trains in Umbleve. That's 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 decent. That's a, a gain. Another respectable defensive position for the Americans, and they're pretty happy with those little bits of movement that they're doing. Unfortunate about this, but yeah. Now, unfortunately, um, they will suffer, <coughs> excuse me, some isolation because uh, there's no safe path. Now, they are both, um, there is an MSR, but there's no safe path and they're out of command range. That means two steps each. So... There we go. That's, they're, they're doing all right. They're big, big battalion, so it's going to take them another two turns before they're really wiped out. And in the meantime, they are really slowing down 18th Fox Grenadier. They will roll for fatigue. They didn't attack, so one to three. Nope. And chance of a second activation on a six. No. So they. Oops. They are done. Okay, 
<laughs> back to the Germans, and I'm going straight back up to the top again. <clears throat> and a couple of options. I could try with the infantry again. Three twenty-six Volks Grenadier. Put some pressure on the second infantry division. Force their hand. Force them to activate. I don't want to activate 150 Panzer yet until these guys have done. Um, I could I could activate 12th SS now. I could activate Camp Group Piper and they could come racing down along their designated path towards Bullingen. Hit oh the that could hit 99th sort of in the rear and really threatens the second sec, uh, second infantry division. I kind of like that idea. I'd like to see what they can do. We've got first SS here as well. Um, only one artillery point with Piper. And only a command range of five. So just some hard hitting AV units, but um, not a lot of support. Working quite tightly. So, yeah, I think, um, I think we'll activate, activate Piper and we'll see what they can do. Let's see what their snafu is. That's nine, they're fresh. In specific is eleven plus uh, they're crossing streams, but that'll be a double objective uh, certainly. So let's um before I place these, let's think about what they can actually do. <clears throat> so I've got sixteen movement factors here. They can go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be nine to there. Okay. And from here, they have some options. They could drive west and hit this unprepared infantry in a shock combat, which should be pretty strongly in their favor and if they clear these guys won't have prepared defense if they clear them out they have further roads to the west they could also drive on Bullingen and there's only some engineers there um, uh, Bullingen is how uh, it's a town just checking if it was a city so they could clear that out, and again, only two AR, I'm pretty confident they could clear that out pretty handily. So I could do th this uh, to capture Bullingon on the way to driving west towards Malmedy. And I'm just wondering if I can use these units in the rear of the column. So here's where they start. These are the Tigers. Six, six AV rating. Ah, there's some rules about Tigers. Um, whenever a formation with Tigers activates, they, uh, they roll a die. Yeah. Whenever a formation with a Tiger activates, roll a die for each Tiger unit. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, on a one, <laughs> kill a step of the tiger unit. Okay, the tigers are already <laughs> reduced. Um, and I should have done that last turn as well. I completely forgot, so let's roll for last turn. Yeah, safe for, safe for last turn. Um, so tigers can get to here in seven. Um... Do I want to use them for my attack? It's you know, it's it's gonna. They've got five. Let's look at this unit. They've got five AR. You'll see um, six, five, two, twelve. The five AR. They're very good at uh, at shock combat compared to those engineers with the two um, independent engineers just sitting there. They're a bit of a roadblock. Hey, Hexy. I was watching your um, your Goss video 
um, I've actually I've I watched I watched your latest video, um, and then I opened Atlantic War and flicked through my counters, thinking, should I click this now? <laughs> um, and I went shopping for Wacht and Rhyme again, and it's really hard to find <laughs> at a good price. Uh, I found a damaged copy somewhere. Um, yeah. So I'm tossing up these these objectives. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I. I guess I should probably secure booling in. Um, now, if I the longer I leave it, there's a chance it could be reinforced. I'm sure these second infantry guys can come down here and reinforce it and make it really hard to take it later on. So I probably want to use Count Grip Piper to take it now. I could move my infantry straight in. They could launch the regular attack. It's going to be one less modifier than the, than the Tigers. But if the Tigers do this shock combat, they're a breakthrough unit. Um, so they get the extra modifier for shock combat. It's kind of like, there's a really interesting question here. Like, what, where, where, do I, where, is, where are the Tigers? I'd probably say this is the more important combat. So I probably want to use the Tigers over here. So I can go one, two, three, four and a half, or five, six. Is that right? <laughs> one, two, three, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Seven and a half, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a half. I don't think they can make it. Uh, our support's dropped here, so they can just drive straight along this road, this, this railroad here. One, two, three. F tracks along a railroad uh, is. Tracks along a railroad is two. Sorry, I keep counting this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They can't quite make it to Bullingen or this other location. Um, I could get, however, my other supporting units to. Yeah, I think they're just going to be. <laughs> the Tigers aren't going to be able to make it anywhere. I'm looking for an optimal route to the objective. Well, I've been. Um, I've been learning. Uh, Sort of testing out uh, a time for trumpet, so that'll be coming next. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm going to start clipping goss, so it'll probably probably come after a time for trumpets. So, sorry, I'm going to count this all over again <laughs> because I just uh, I'd like to be able to find a way. One, two. Is there any southern road? Maybe I counted this as a secondary by accident when I was counting earlier. One, two, three. From here, three, four, five, five and a half, six and a half, seven. They can get to there for seven and attack the 99th. Maybe I'll do that. In fact, they they can attack. Oh, they're in woods. Seven. They're going to do it. Seven to there, <laughs> and uh, they're going to do some shock combat against these uh, 99th infantry. Let's test out my Piper Tigers against this first 394th regiment of the 99th infantry. Shock combat. So I've got a five AR. I've got um, what else have we got with these tigers? We have got. It's not a dual unit. Um, they have got <laughs> shock attack support, and it's a breakthrough AR. That's only going to be uh, eight versus three plus support plus terrain equals five so it's going to be a plus three dice from modifier 
to this shot combat. Not as big as I kind of thought. Uh, and ideally, I want a nine results. So I need six or more. Oh god, okay. So five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be an A1. A1 situational retreat. So they do retreat. Um, ah, but they can't because they're right next to the headquarters. So they, I believe, um, I'm going to double check this yet again. I oh, know they, they still flip uh, three hexes, flip to their move side. One, two, three. Oops, three, flip to their move side. Tigers, down to one step now. Um, with one fire event left, they've moved seven. They can now go seven and a half. They could drive into that HQ if they wanted to, or just go, no, nah, we'll head down here. Oh, I look. I'm this is brilliant um, I, I the more I play it the more I'm enjoying it the more I'm it's it's racing to the top of my, one of my favorite games um, I was hearing what you were saying about Goss about just how good the system is and the way you were describing Goss in, in your last video Hexy is kind of how I feel about this so I'm really excited to I'm excited to play this and I'm really excited to play Goss um, yeah, the way you're kind of <laughs> explaining all these factors, uh, it's, it's, it feels, it just kind of seems similar in kind of this thought process, processes to, to this, to BCS. <clears throat> so the Tigers have done their movement. They could move further, but they're going to stop here and they're going to get an attack on these guys. Now they've got, again, shock combat five plus... Um, Oh, they can't use support artillery anymore because there's only one artillery point with can't grip Piper. And I should, of course, geez, silly me, bring the headquarters up. One, two, um, three, four, five and a half, six and a half, seven. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Six. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half. All right, that made that attack legal. It'll make this attack legal. It'll make this attack legal. And you know what? I'm going to go one further because I'm pretty confident. Well, I want to drive even further. I want to get as far west as possible. And they've only got a range of five, so... Hey Andrew, welcome. We're about can't group Piper is finally on the move. They've finally been able to get through this forest. It's taken me about six hours to get them through this forest. Tigers are attacking here. They have no artillery, but they are a breakthrough unit, which is a plus two modifier versus the defenders who have two plus one for terrain so it's seven minus three is a plus net plus four the die roll is six ten situational retreat now these my understanding here this is a weird hex where the uh, thing doesn't go is that this is a static unit they can't retreat so they are sent to the graveyard instead if forced to retreat static units are eliminated and i don't advance there because that was a, uh, a shock combat <coughs> But I do want to move up my infantry to occupy that space. So one. It's a very weird sort of armoured anti-tank formation. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a half, six and a half, seven, eight nine into there now i could still attack in here i deleted that to objective marker but i could still attack if i wanted to i don't really want to with what is a pretty weak unit um so i'll hold them there and i'll bring up this infantry they can make it in there as well um 
they could also attack with this unit as support. And well, look, to be honest, um, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't. They're only three step pioneers. Oh, they these guys that are unsupported. I think I have to. Oh, I think I have to. Um, <laughs> I have to. Uh, they're unsupported as well. Like if I attack to the north, but that then pushes me out of the the area. I don't want that to happen. So let's move on. With the rest of these guys: one, two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, I, oh, hold on, I've stuffed this up. Um, where were they? One, two, three, four, three, four. <laughs> Let me get in. One, two, two and a half, three, four and a half, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen to there. At this point, they they will do an attack, a shock combat. Basically, this is another unprepared unit which can't benefit from uh, prepared defense or support. So I've got five, no artillery. Like I, I could do a um, an attack by five first, and I probably should because if I do that, then I have to stop in that hex that'll be the end of my um, fire events so I'll do five plus they are a hard red unit for plus one it's a shame that Camp Griff Piper doesn't have more artillery I probably should uh, I'm gonna be mindful of that and maybe assign them some artillery points perhaps from the 12th false grenadier having the one one intrinsic is, is uh, way too low so they got they got uh, six, which is pretty low for shot combat versus the defenders three plus defense plus unit is five. So it's actually only a plus one modifier to my eight, nine, which is a situational retreat. So their headquarters is up here. One, two, three. Okay, but that's my first uh, fire event. I can't recall where these guys have moved from. <laughs> Can you again one, two? And a half, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So they're done. Yeah, look, it's it's um it's fascinating the different types of combat and how you use them in different situations. So that was a shock combat, and I could have engaged in more shock combat, and I keep moving afterwards. But if I do a regular combat with these guys, that's the end of their movement. So now I've got uh, lots of other units that I can move up. Um, uh, it's really tricky to get movement through here because the main road is blocked by this bloody unit. But I can go... Um, I might move these two together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're following the railroad line. Six, um, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and a half to there. So they got one and a half movement points. <laughs> they could go fifteen down to there, perhaps, and then. Um, 15 up to there just to stop 9th infantry coming down and, and spoiling my plans I'm going to, uh, where's my headquarters here it's here so that's good and these guys and they'll also move together same movement they're going to go one one and a half two three four five and a half six 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so you can see what Carp Group Piper are doing. Can you? Because I'm not sure. <laughs> they move two here. I might go one, two. They could move down this way instead. So I'll send the tanks that way. I'll send the infantry mechanized uh, dual unit this way. So it was from here, one, two, and they went one, two instead. And they'll link back up in Vimes on their way to Malmedy, perhaps. They're all within range. Let's check, check that command range. Yep, that's looking good. All right, that is their first activation. They are fatigued. No, they're not. That's that's their marker. They are fatigued. What else have I got here? Oh, I got some units. I got nothing. That's the first SS. They don't, they don't, they don't come along. Um, okay, let's check for fatigue. We engage regular combat, so one to three fatigue. Ouch. That's unfortunate. Uh, because now they want a second activation on a three or more. Come on. Hey. They get a second activation. This is going to be important. Um, let's roll for this snafu. Eight. Coordination is minus one. Oh, sorry. One other thing I should have done is brought the trains up. Uh, it's all the way over here. So, oh, geez. Okay, we'll put that, put that there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Um, all right, so eight, gang specific, pushes up to nine. Coordination brings it back to eight. Um, optimal distance plus one. Ghost trains cancels it out. And using tracks brings it down to seven. If I've done that correctly, it is narrowly a full objective and they're no longer suffering coordination. But, oh no, actually, uh, that can't go there because there's no, you can't just put on any road. It's got, got to be a road that has a clear supply path like this one. So, yeah, that uses tracks. It is optimal distance, but Ah, oh, they're gonna have long, longer-term problems. Um, maybe they should have killed that unit off, because basically this combat train can't get much further west. It could sit here, actually. That's about as far west as it can go. Um, oh, look, Camp Group Hyper. They can have a good activation this turn, but they're gonna really gonna struggle with their next activation uh, unless they can do something about <laughs> unless the Germans can do something about this unit and this road um, so with that in mind I don't know how much further I want to press past this point I don't want to I don't know if I don't know if I want to all units can bypass that support um, just tack movement units so anything with a red movement can bypass foot zones of control because yeah the support is dropped if that support wasn't dropped it would have tanks with it basically specifically uh any tank support and it would block zones of control so these this carp group piper is <laughs> weaseling their way oh i thought i didn't notice that that's an overpass destroyed um i'm sure there's another route they could have got there by this other railroad track and path oh, it's so hard to notice that so I made some mistakes there. Didn't realize that was not connected. Um, I spent half a movement point to move up here. I went half. Oh, I didn't realize that wasn't connected either. <laughs> I thought the roads were all connected. Um, I went half and then one instead, and then one and then two, three to get to here. I could have instead gone two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, up that way. It would have been a little bit more expensive, but I don't think too many were yeah but that's my fault for not for misreading the, the situation here um okay so can't group piper they don't want to head south of st v it's going to waste a waste of their time 
they want to drive west as quickly as possible. Stavolot. I've already got some Germans, uh, some Americans in Malmedy. <sighs> Two objectives. Where are we going to attack? And do we just leave Bullingen for the second infantry? If I leave it, basically they're going to come and take it. I know that much. Um, and that's the primary roads. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking maybe Camp Group Piper just hangs around this little area for a little bit longer. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> causes havoc with these combat trains and headquarters this is a headquarter all by itself um, out in the open I could really pocket I could pocket the whole kind of I could probably swing around here link up with von der Heidt, march into Camp, Elsen Camp Elsenborn so I'll set that as an objective and I might um, I might get an attack on here and I'm gonna go yeah they got some defensive units with them I'm gonna go drive these guys off the road they have to go back 10 spaces 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh they got infantry I didn't realize that Did not see that 106 infantry, and they would have had support, so that unit couldn't have moved that far down. They would have had to stop there because of that uh, ZOC. Um, well, I'll leave them there. That's okay. You guys can hang on to that. I will um, instead come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's much further than that, actually. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Drives these guys back ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drives these guys back ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Now, I don't know if it's, uh, maybe that's wrong, maybe it's uh, 10 hexes rather than 10, uh, I'll check combat trains getting jumped here, 4.7D. So when combat trains are jumped, they, um, they're jumped and must retreat, 4.7E. Combat trains. Okay, I retreat. <laughs> Picked up and placed an illegal hex. At least 10 hexes following a road. So it says at least 10 hexes following a road down its MSR from where it started. Does that, does that mean I follow the road 10 hexes back? <laughs> or do I go 10 hexes back provided I follow the road? I, I'm, uh, that's, yeah. I'm not sure about the wording there, but that seems fair enough. I mean, if it's a few further hexes back, I don't think it's going to affect anything. Um, and what we've got here is, yeah, some more armor and some infantry sitting out in the open. Uh, oh, geez. I might just uh, engage them with fire because if I look at the barrage table, oh, it's not summarized in this rule book, basically. Uh, if I attack with fire, oh wait, they've got red support. <laughs> you have these wonderful plans, and you're like, nope, can't do that. Um, I could, I could disengage the support, but to be honest, three plus four is seven. I'm only going to get a plus two modifier, and I just don't want to risk it. I'm pretty happy in Camp Elsenborn, Elsenborn, sorry, and I, in that camp I will stay. I've also linked up with Vonderheit, so they're kind of somewhat relieved. 
I am, however, breaking the rules because I'm outside my HQ range. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. What do I do here? I don't think I can actually do that. <laughs> that was a leak because there's such such a small command range. Let me um. Yeah, that can't be done. Unfortunately, as nice as it would be, instead what I'll do is I'll drive my headquarters up one, two, three, four. Uh. Five, six, seven. I think there was a uh, yeah, one of these guys were there, weren't they? So I couldn't have moved the headquarters there. How about before I move the headquarters? I bring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That drives his headquarters. Jeez, where? Where do they actually go? Um, the combat train is here, so they kind of want to go three hexes back. One, two, three. Do they? Do they? Um, Three, maybe? I don't know what exactly happens at this headquarters. They, they jumped, they would suffer coordination. And um, they should retreat, uh, I believe, three hexes towards their, their combat. At least, at least three hexes. So I can move them further back. I believe that's the rule for, for jumped. Headquarters. I'm just going to double check that. At least three hex or three headquarters to a legal hex. Uh, just pick them up and place them, basically. Okay. So. Um, geez, okay, they will come all the way back. To... There. There's a trail leading... Where is it? Yeah, there's a trail leading back to their combat train there. Um, that, that kind of gives the comfort pipe of this, this position on this road. They could then attack this unit if they wanted to. They don't, really. Um... I'm just kind of penning some of these guys in. Then I can move my headquarters up to here. Uh, okay, so if I pull them back one hex, then I can move the headquarters up to here and they're in, in command range. And I'm worried that I'm, I'm no. Getting too ambitious here. Let's stop there. I want to hold on to pulling in. Um, I will even move into. Oh, will I move into boot? Come back. No, I won't. I will hold. I will hold right there. I will um, move these guys. One and a half, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They'll hold that crossroad. And then we'll move these guys up. I'm also looking at my tigers. I want to. I want to kill off this this uh, stack here. Get them just out of the way. So how do I get there? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a shot combat in here. Okay, so that's going to be five, and I'll use my artillery for this. So five plus. In fact, I'll do an attack by fire. F oh, attack by fire f first. I don't know what that was. Yeah, attack by fire. This is uh, going to be a four or more for these guys. 
one, two, no, no effect. And now shot combat, so it'll be five plus one for artillery, plus one for the attack by fire, plus one because they're hard red is eight versus three, plus one, plus one. Stacked um, terrain is plus three modifier for my combat, shot combat. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's an A1 situational retreat. They retreat, uh, I believe, three hexes. Um, oh, they have no safe path, so they lose a step. Lose a step. I didn't really want that. I wanted them to have a safe path there so I can get rid of them. Um, all right, let's uh, move my tigers up then and they can follow up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11. Okay, got, got my tiger. Okay, that was um, poor planning. A lot of poor planning around here. And. Got a mess of these objective markers. So look, there's probably a lot I could have done with Kampf Group Piper. They could have driven further west, but like I said, I've got to watch their their combat trains. Um, here's their train down here. I think this is the the last kind of legal hex. They're now using tracks along this road here, pretty easily broken to be honest. I need to clear this road, and I don't I don't want to use Kampf Group Piper. I, should, I probably should have, but I didn't want to use Kampf Group Piper to do that. Um, so they now need to roll for fatigue. Uh, they engage in combat, so one to three. That's fine, and they are done. I'm gonna have to leave it there, so I'm gonna have to stop the, stop the stream. Um, uh, uh, to be honest, um, yeah, uh, I probably should have. Maybe I shouldn't have activated Kunk Roof Piper first. Maybe I try, should have tried to get 12th SS to clear through here, get these two units. They're almost dead, two steps left. They've had, they have support dropped um, and no prepared defense anymore. So they could probably easily have been kicked out. I just kind of was trying to rush Camp Griff Piper west. And as a result of rushing them west, they're not getting as far west as they probably could have done had I just planned it a bit carefully, a bit more carefully. <laughs> Better planning, I reckon they could have been out here somewhere. Poor planning, they're watching their flanks now and they're, they're all surrounded and in a spot of bother. All right, so folks, I'll end it there. We've got a US turn coming up. I'll save it and uh, be back later. Take care, everyone.